I don't usually like doing the video in the car, actually, because it's not the nicest of ambiances. It's nicer when I'm outside and the birds are chirping. But today I felt it was a good idea because getting in the car is one of the most important aspects of going to the gym. Now, today I had a personal training client in the morning and then I drive home, I go inside, and one of the toughest things to do is to not get distracted by everything that's going on. It's literally the one thing that actually defeats me sometimes. I go inside, I sit down, I eat. I already ate already, I don't need to eat again. I sit down for a half hour, turns to an hour, turns to 90 minutes and then two hours. And then all of a sudden, instead of it being like nine or 10 o'clock, it's like 11 or 12 o'clock, it's lunchtime already. <laughs> And then I am thinking about the gym preoccupied for the day. And maybe I'll go at night. But here's the bottom line. If you know that's your weakness, you're going to have to fight that fight every single time. I fight that fight every single time. And I don't always win. Sometimes I lose. And... You have to not let the losses drag you so far down to where you don't want to fight anymore. Because if you stop fighting, then you'll never go to the gym. But if you fight it, that urge to stay inside every day, you'll maybe win 50 to 75% of the time. Over the long term, that's a great result. So I'm in my car right now. I'm about to go to the gym. I have everything I need. And I'm excited about that. Just like the stock market that goes up and down. But over time, it steadily and steadily goes up and up. You won't win all the fights. You'll have those lows. But try to continue to see the long game. Your fitness journey should be scoped out 8 to 12 weeks. You might miss a day here and there. You're expecting not to go certain days. So... Today's video comes at you from the car because this is where success starts in the car on the way to the gym. I hope this helps.